All right, hey YouTube, welcome to Bob and Kevin's Beer Reviews. I'm Kevin, this is Bob. It's happening, YouTube. Yep, it is uh, March 30th. Uh, we are uh, in the midst of sprinting right now. It's uh, officially spring and there's uh, tons of snow. Actually, I think we are My officially... yacht's like a glacier. I still got it two feet in most spots. I've never seen as much snow than this gentleman has in his yard. It's like he lives in the North Pole. It's receding. Yeah. Slowly. Yep. Everywhere yes. you drive around here, the snow's almost gone, and nope, not here. Yep. It's uh, I think it's my cold as ice personality. It might be. It might be. You know why? Because we also like ice cold beers. So That's that it. works for it's us. It's ice cold beer. I'm drinking yeah. over here. That's what yep. it is. Yep. Yep. Ice cold beer. I am pretty thirsty though. Yeah, let's get going. Here. Yeah, because you had a little stressful uh, night there. Yeah, I'm I think you go for wine. a beer, yep. and uh, I'm tired. Yep. You know, it's but a Monday I'm night, stressful roll. day. It's a good way to start the week with a beer show. Yep, yep. Let's do I it. So, all right. So what, so what do you yeah. got for us tonight? Bob? I got a big old growler. A big old. That's what Look we're doing tonight. We're doing growlers this, we're doing tonight. tonight. All growlers. This is the beer that okay. Bob picked tonight. I got this Allagash Triple Reserve Belgian Style Ale. Batch number 217, they're numbered, they're from Portland, Maine, it is very strong, 9% alcohol volume, um, it's a pint, and it doesn't have the IBUs out here, okay? I'm going to try to read this to you real quick here, all right? Hey, before you do, can I just show them the bottle? Sure. All right, let me let me show them the bottle, and then uh, yep. I'll let you read away, because it's a, that's a really cool bottle. It, yes, it, it looks, it actually, to me, it looks like a bottle of wine. It does. With the cork. Oh, absolutely. It, it, it's a real classy bottle. Yep. You know, can you guys see that right there? Real cool bottle. Here's the cork on the top with the, the wire. Real good. Good job, guys. You know, I don't know what it tastes like, but um, the sediment on the bottom, so we probably shouldn't yep. disturb it much. But go ahead. Okay, it says it's perfect as an aperitif. I never saw that word before, aperitif. Or to toast a special occasion, our golden colored triple reserve has a complex fruit and spice aroma complemented by a full palate with suggestions of honey, a long warm and soothing finish follows. Allagash triple is well suited to cellaring and will continue to mature in the bottle and improve with age. Wow. Wow. Serve so Allagash triple reserve at natural cellar temperatures in a wide mouth glass. Pour slowly into the wide mouth glass. Okay. So, so this is almost. It, it, it sounds almost like it's 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 like a liquor. It's like yeah. a beer, but it's a liquor. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is this is. So a, say this is this year's. This is this year's 2015 batch. Yeah. You could grab a couple of these, stash them away in your cellar, let them sit for. I don't know. They didn't say any. Of as long as you want. Yeah, yeah it, let them sit. No, get yeah. better at it. Yeah. That's what it's saying. Right. So, um, my mouth's watering. I'm yeah, gonna go we got to we got to dig into this puppy. Yeah, yeah we're not going to be cellaring this one right here. No, absolutely no, not. No. We're cellaring. We going we, on we are drinking this. Yep. Yeah, yeah. fancy thing. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, pop it in there, buddy. Recycle it, right? Is that what you do with those? Maybe I'll put it back on here if we'll keep this for our collection. I'm, you're not going to be able to put it back on. It's going to expand. See? Wow. Pop like champagne. Look at that smoke. Pop like champagne. We've had a couple yep. others like that. The um. Long Trail Reserve. Yeah. There. Well, the uh, also the Sam Adams 13th Hour. We yeah. did. You know, we did that in a previous episode. One of these days, maybe we'll see it. 2018 for sure. It's lightly golden color. Yeah, I'm it not, is lightly golden color. I've not even seen a lot of sediment. Well, because you're pouring it right. I mean, you know, because you do want to pour it careful because it, I can see the sediment at the bottom of the. I'm gonna let it sit a second. Yeah. I, you yeah, can't I think that's pour. a good, good yeah. idea. I'm gonna pour it. Slowly, not going to go for a head like you know I usually do. It's looking good though. I can't wait to taste it. I am so excited. Uh, I gotta, to taste I gotta have this. a I smell mean, wine. Just you. yeah, go for it, buddy. You know. Oh wow! Very good aroma. A little bit of honey coming out. Wow! What a beautiful top, color. I'm gonna top yeah, line off. It, it's obviously unfiltered. It looks like it's got a lot of carbonation. Beautiful color. I'm sorry, I got a little on my mustache. <laughs> yeah. Light, Look at that. A light honey smell. Now it's got some... It's it's um unfiltered. You can see it there. 
first came out yep. clear, but the bottom honey, of the bar, uh, I, bottle lemon. Of honey and lemon? Yep. I'm going in. Yeah. Let's Ready? go in. Yeah. Wait, awesome. whoa, whoa, whoa. Cheers. Cheers. See, it is bitter. Like, wow. But it's really good. It's sweet, though. Yeah, it's bittersweet. I like it. Yeah, I really like it too. It's a very well made beer, you know, and you, you could wow. tell it was going to be good. You know what I mean? When you buy Holy something crap. like this, you know, you know it's going to be good. And it was that really That is good. like, yeah. you know, when you, for those who appreciate wine, and I am a red wine drinker, and uh, I know the difference between a, you know, cheap wine and a real nice bottle. This is like buying a nice freaking bottle of beer right here. This that, a nice bottle of wine is what I meant to yeah. say. Comparable. Absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. So many flavors going on. I'm getting yeah. a little nuttiness too. Yep. Com very, very complex. Like, does it say what, what's in it? Because I have to give... Um, yeah, on that side I read. I can see, the problem is, is I can't see. Yeah. Um, it's smooth drinking too. It ain't like... Awesome. Yeah. No, it's smooth drinking. It, it's got, like you said, it's got a bitterness, but yet the sweetness mm. mellow, you know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of complements that. You know what I noticed, I Kevin? We're here in Rhode Island, mm -hmm. and we've been actually trying, most of the beers that we've been trying are up and down the East Coast breweries here. Yeah. You know, pretty much, yeah. if you, if you want to go back and look at most of them. We do have a beer from California, too. And I don't know if that's, yeah, we do have one from California, and we've had some from England, too. Yep. And uh, Ireland, but um, most of the coolers around here are stocked with you know this East Coast beers here. Right, right, and, and I do think we need to support locals. Oh yeah, but I don't think we should. You know what I mean? Like uh, Lining Kugel, which we love. All right, they're what Wisconsin? Wisconsin. Yeah. Yep. So I mean. A lot of good beers up in Maine here, though. Mm -hmm. Maine and Vermont. Maine, Vermont. Yeah. Yep. It's up and coming here in Rhode Island and Massachusetts, you know, with uh, Sam Adams started the whole thing off. I think it's up and coming everywhere. Yeah. You know, I might really brews do. are popping up like yep. uh, flowers. Yeah. Because it's yeah. Sprinter. We got to get in on that. We have to make our own brew. We should buy the supplies. I almost bought one tonight that was like a husband and wife team. It was labeled that way. I'll get it one of these times. Yeah. They had it at People's Liquor Warehouse. People's Liquor Warehouse in Warwick and Appenon has a huge selection of growlers and uh, micro brews in the four packs and so on and so forth. A big warm section and quite a few of them on the cooler too. Check it out. Oh, and you can mix a six there. Six there. A guy in front of me in line mixed a six. Yeah. Um, we're going to go there and do that. I was we're going to go mix a six. Kevin. Yeah. That's what you could yeah. do for adult parties. You yeah. go there like a birthday party. It's not that know, cheap though, but it's a good way to try. Six. They give you ten percent off, but some of them, like there's a whole bunch of them to choose from. They ranged from uh, two dollars up to like four or five dollars a bottle, you know. Yeah. So your six pack can end up being a twenty dollar or more six pack. But I like the fact you can buy a small amount. Yeah. I spent forty bucks at the liquor exactly. store today. Well, remember you bought that six pack of Shipyard Melonhead? No, oh. oh. we wrote in on it. No, it was we just put bad idea. Oh, it was terrible. They said natural flavors. It was artificial flavors. Melonhead zero. <clears throat> Way, zero. Bad idea. Yeah. Way too sweet. Oh man. Somebody out there might like it, but bad. What was the and worst that was a stumble. We had? That was a slight of a bit of a stumble for uh, who made that? Shipyard. Shipyard. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because we love shipyards. Products. Yeah, we do. Yep. Excellent stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I haven't had many of it. You know, I had some of you your... Did. You had the... the, um, the and we had the discovery Smash Pumpkin. Oh, that, that was... The regular Pumpkin yeah. Head was awesome. And then the Smash Pumpkin was, was over the top. Just over the top, yeah. yeah. We have to rate that this year. We're in October. Yeah. Because we haven't rated it. We've had it. Yep. But we haven't rated it. So we're going to do a... Uh, you know, a Smash Pumpkin review. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'm getting close to the end. There's a little bit more in there. there. All right, yeah. Yeah, just go for Got it. Got some Government Mule on yeah. in the background here. Awesome song, Slackjaw Jezebel. Mm. 
We've moved the music outside the shed, so it's coming from the outside. And that's uh, Jam On Satellite Radio. It's a great beer. It's a great beer. All right, we're great not going to rate it until we finish it. I got like a sip left here. Yeah. But I'm I, I know what I'm, I already know what I'm going to give it. When we have all these growlers we've tried, except for the ones, you know, a couple that we didn't like, it's, I'm amazed how drinkable they are. Like, they yeah. go down really easy, smooth, and fast. Yeah. This is yet yeah, fast because it's so good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, I mean, before I rate this beer, I'm going to say, you know, if, if you're in your oh my local. God. You know, liquor store or beer store or, you know, craft yep. beer store. Uh, and you see it, get it. Definitely. You know, definitely there get was it. Actually, it's a great beer. There was actually um, several different kinds. Just well, well these well, Allagash well, Growlers. Yeah. They had more so than maybe one. We, maybe we can, uh, you know, look at oh, yeah. these guys a little bit more. Definitely. You know? Someone out there, even myself... Just grabbing this for an evening by yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like, treat yourself. Yeah, treat just it. watching some TV. You know, like you would have a glass of wine or split a bottle of wine. But like to drink this whole bottle by yourself yeah. slowly. You can yep. stretch it. You know, for a half hour or whatever. Yeah. Forty-five minutes if you really want. If you're lazy, you know. <laughs> if you're lazy, forty-five minutes. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Well, you know, it's not a chugging beer. It is very smooth and drinkable, but I right. can't no, see it can't, sitting down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I understand classy. what you're saying. It's, it's, it's classy. classy. Right. I just want to lick yeah. the glass. Right. Final chug. I want to lick the glass. It's Ooh. so good. It is really good. Um, I understand what you're saying. And again, um, oh my God. I want, I want to say this is a beer. If I was looking for a gift for a beer lover, I would buy this. I would buy that. Yep. Put, put As a bowl a on that, yeah. and you're good to go. It, it's that good. Yeah. Anybody yeah. who appreciates a fine beer, you know, if, if someone's a strictly Bud Light man yep. or something, they don't even bother. Yeah. But holy crap, that was absolutely delicious. delicious I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. ready to rate it. I am ready to rate it. We do, uh, just to remind everybody, 1 to 10 mug yep. scale. 1 to 10 mug yep. scale. And, um... um Bob records it. He's got a little, I got pad, a little pad over there. Yeah, I've been recording and, uh, them. He records it. Yeah. And I don't recall what my highest rating ever was. Kevin Ugh. gave a 7 for the Red Flanders Style Ale. That might be Kevin's highest. And that's so funny. I, I gave it a 6. Oh, I got a 7 here on the Smithwick's Irish Ale. Kevin gave that a 6. I gave it a 7. So I, I'm, I'm looking at this on a couple different things. I'm yeah. judging it against the other beers, and it, but it's, it's its own thing. Each beer is its own thing. This has its own style, its own taste. It's still lingering in my mouth. It's so delicious. I'm going to give it an eight. That's exactly what I was thinking. An eight. An yep. eight. Two okay. eights. Yep. Because two eight mugs. We it, have it's never given eight. Th that's the highest rating. I think that's the highest given. beer so far. Yeah. An eight, and, and, and I thought of an eight because I wanted to leave room for something yeah. Amazing. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And, and yes. But it's eight because it's, it's well-rounded. It's tasteful. Yeah. It's crafted great. It, it's smooth. It's drinkable. It's not too hoppy. It's not too bitter. It, it's just perfect. I don't yeah. know what else to say. Yep. I'm giving it an eight. And Kevin, too. Yeah. Eight all the way. Eight is great, YouTube. So, uh, in closing... If, if, if you see this, Allagash Triple Reserve Belgian Style Ale in your local beer store. Yeah. And they're numbered. They don't make a ton of them. Get it. Get it for yourself. Buy it for a yep. friend. You know, we're going to you know we're gonna try we're some in, more yeah. beers from this brewery. Yep, uh, we're impressed. We like, in Maine, Maine, we like your Maine. brewery. We're going to try some more yeah. of it. That's for sure. And they're in New England. So, yep. again, you know, support locals. Absolutely. All right. So, Love it. All right. You ready to wrap this up? Good night, YouTube. Stay, Stay clear, clear and drink beer. beer.